What's up guys? So today is Wednesday and I'm headed out right now. I'm actually going to Nix's like Halloween party. Honestly, on the flyer it did not say dress up thing and if it was a dress up thing I would not dress up because I'm not celebrate Halloween. But um, Latoya messaged me, she's like, are you dressing up? I'm like wearing heels. She's like, no a costume. I'm like, no. But anyway, let's hope it's not a really not everyone's wearing costumes and all that. So this is the NYX Cosmetics Halloween party. My hair is looking a mess right now, but whatever. And I'm just wearing this. I'll let Amanda show you guys my outfit of the night. But yeah, we're just trying to catch an Uber right now. Hopefully the Uber's here. Let me check. BSX. Yeah, Uber's here right now. So about to hop in the Uber. And I don't see Amanda in there. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm actually waiting for somebody else. They're back there. Yeah. What's your name? Natural Nisi. Yeah. Yes. That's you. That's me. <laughs> yeah, she's coming, okay? Yeah.
what's up guys good afternoon so i'm about to head to the dentist right now i told you guys that um that i had to get my wisdom teeth out so i'm going to a oral surgeon right now a specialist calling my uber so yeah this is my little slip right here my my referral so i'm kind of nervous I'm not gonna end up doing this surgery today. Just wanna get a consultation to see if he can do it. And then since I'm gonna go under, it has to be done the next time. So yeah, I'm just happy to start like, you know, getting this moving, getting it out of the way so I can move forward with getting my teeth fixed. And sorry for the lack of vlog on Friday, but I just literally did nothing. I had like an eight minute vlog and I'm like, it's pointless to put it up. So I'm gonna save it for today, which is Monday. And there will be a vlog up later on today. I'm running out of breath right now. So yeah, my hair right now is in a wash and go. Honestly, I need to cut off more. I already cut off a little bit more, but I want to cut off a little bit more and more. So yeah, and I feel like my hair was already growing, which is weird, but I think it's just because it looks healthier. Guys, so I'm at the dentist right now. Everybody is super nice. It's super clean in here. Um, yeah. Good experience so far, just waiting on the doctor. I don't know why I'm so nervous right now. It's like my heart like went into my stomach. You know when you're going down like a roller coaster? That's how I feel. And I'm not even getting surgery done today, so. Like look at my teeth, guys. This is how bad my teeth are. You see the two teeth that are, well the three teeth that are impacted? Horrible. So guys, I just finished my dentist appointment and I'm um, going to another place where they can take like a 3D scan of my mouth because he said that I, there's a higher chance that I can get nerve damage. Yeah, he said there's a higher chance that I can get nerve damage just because I'm older now and my nerve fully grew in. But I asked him, what's the percentage? He said five to 7%, which is not even a lot, but just to be on the safer, safer side, I'm gonna get my 3D thing done then gotta book another consultation and then I can finally take out my teeth, so. Yeah, that is the plan. Hey guys, so, oh my god, do it, do I take back my earrings? Oh, okay. Okay guys, so I just got back home from going to the oral surgeon place as well as to get another 3D scan of my mouth. So, yeah, basically what the doctor said was that um it's near a nerve blah 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 this and that i said how what's the percentage of getting um like nerve damage because basically he said that you'll have no feeling in your lip or your chin if that is to happen i said what's the chances he said five to seven percent which is to me is pretty low but it's still a risk so i decided to go get the 3d um the 3d x-ray of my mouth so he can ex see exactly like where the nerve is and he can be more careful around that part whatever whatever because i don't want to risk not having any feeling or sensation in my bottom lip and my chin because that would not be good <laughs> so yeah um got that done that was 250 dollars and then to get just for the consultation that was another 130 dollars or something like that so yeah i pretty much spent a big chunk of money today just to do that and then he he gave me estimates for how much um it would be to take out my teeth um if i was to get um sedated or to go to sleep or whatever it's going to be around almost 1700 dollars to take that out and if i'm just to be awake but just get freezing in my mouth it's going to be how much is it again <laughs> It's gonna be almost twelve hundred dollars, and honestly, I'm thinking I'm just gonna go for the seven seventeen hundred dollar one because I'd rather be sleep. The only thing with that is I have to bring somebody with me because I'm gonna be on some drugs or something, you know. So, yeah, I don't know. We're gonna I'm gonna see. I'd rather be asleep though. I don't want to hear all the cracking and crunch, crunch, crunchy sounds because I've done that before and I hated it. Like I hated it. So that's what's going on with my mouth. And then we'll see what happens from there. I'm not going to get it before I go to um, Jamaica because I want, I need healing time, right? So I'll probably get it sometime in November, like late November or mid-November. That's all I can do right now. So yeah, I just got to wait a week until they send over my x-rays to the dentist or the oral surgeon place. And then 
gotta go in for another consultation talk about it blah blah, blah and then gotta do the procedure so <sighs> I don't even know why I was so nervous being in there, even though I wasn't getting the surgery done. Like, I'm just weird. I just hate, hate, hate the dentist so bad. Like, I just never want to go there ever again. Because I didn't get to show you guys this little package that I got from OGX. Shanice, we are so excited to collaborate with you on an, for an upcoming OGX video. We hope you enjoy these products. Product innovations from OGX Beauty, including the new beauty body products. And I actually did try the new... Um, body products. I tried their their lotion, sea mineral lotion. But honestly, lotion, any type of lotion doesn't do justice for me. Like my body, it needs it needs like shea butter because like I don't know what it is with my skin, but like my body just takes up all the moisture. Doesn't even matter how much lotion I put on, anything like that. My body just sucks it all up. I think it's like my pores or like my hair because I'm so hairy. Like it just like sucks up all the moisture so only shea butter is what does it for me and even then sometimes it's, it's not enough so <laughs> yeah what else did i try in here i tried their body wash love the body wash smells good i tried their curls coconut curls hair butter really good i actually have this in my hair today and it smells so good i've tried this one before their um vitamin E conditioner love it I love all of their conditioners to be honest and then I also try let me find it for you guys oh there it is I also tried their um, little weightless hydration coconut water conditioner let me I'm sorry it smells so freaking good like I actually left this in my hair and then I added on their leave-in conditioner and it's bomb. I like it a lot. So these are my curls. I even I haven't even fluffed up my hair yet. And yeah, my curls are like pretty defined. But I'm waiting for like tomorrow when I film a video to like fluff it out and stuff. Has that second day hair. <laughs> yeah, so I think that's pretty much all I wanted to tell you guys. Oh no. Um, I also want to share with you guys that I am going to South Africa in March of 2017. I really want you guys to come with me. You guys know I'm all about traveling. I want you guys to come and travel with me. Even my friends might come, Shantae and Munchie. Well, I'm pretty sure they are coming. It's going to be so much fun. My sister might come. Amanda might come. So if you guys want to like chill with us and like, you know, travel together, it's going to be so much fun. I will have the link in the description box of how you can sign up. And I also have a video on my main channel where I talk more about it. It's with One Love Travel Club. It's going to be so much fun. It's going to be lit. It's going to be my first time in Africa. We're going to Cape Town in South Africa. It's going to be so amazing, guys. Like, I'm so excited for March. And I just really hope that you guys can come with me. And I think there's only 30 spots. 20 to 30 spots. So you got to book now or make your deposit. So yeah that's what i want to share with you guys i'm going to end the vlog here and i will see you guys all later traveling is priceless the experiences that you make the people that you meet just everything in general is just priceless so with that being said i'm happy to announce that we are going to south africa in march of 2017 from the 20th to the 29th with one love travel club